Hi boys and girls and welcome to today's art activity. So today's art activity is actually very interesting and cool and something that you can do with things that you find at your house. Now I'm just using a couple of the items that I have found in my kitchen, but you um, can use any other um, things that you think will work. This is a very unique and kind of a messy activity. So you're definitely going to want to get parent permission before you do any of these things and um, create a um, an area where you have something down underneath it so you don't make a huge mess. So we're gonna be painting with unconventional materials today and things that we find in the kitchen. I'm not gonna be painting any picture in particular. I'm just gonna be having fun and experimenting with a few things. So the first thing I grabbed in my spice cabinet was curry powder because of its yellow color. I thought that it could be cool. So I'm just gonna take a little spoon I have a little um, little short mason jar, or you could mix it um, on a paper plate or in a little cup, it's up to you. I also have a plate here if um, I run out of mason jar. So what I'm doing is I have just um, a regular clean paintbrush and I'm dipping it into water so um, that my paintbrush has some water to mix in with this curry powder. So it seems like I need a lot more water. I feel like maybe I should actually just pour a tiny bit of water into this. There we go. That was the right idea. Now we kind of have this yellow color going on. So now I'm going to take my paintbrush and look at that. We have created our own paint, our own pigment of yellow using water and curry powder. If you have turmeric at your house, it's another, um, seasoning spice. I don't have that at my house. Unfortunately, that would make a really, really nice yellow color as well. The next color that I'm going, or the next thing I'm going to experiment with that I found is cocoa powder. So I'm going to take a little spoonful of that. I'm going to do that same technique we did last time where we just poured in a little bit of the water just a little, you don't wanna to do too much. Make sure we clean off that brush from any of the curry. Now I'm going to mix that all together. Cocoa powder is having a little bit more of a difficult time mixing. Let's, let's test it out. It smells really good, honestly. It smells like we have some hot chocolate. Oh, that works very nicely. We have a nice, pretty, looks like a milk chocolate brown, and it smells like that too. Cool. This is so cool that I'm just painting with seasonings and foods I found in my house. Okay, next up I have coffee grounds. Put in a little spoonful of that. Pour in a little bit of water. Of water. And just mix that up. I'm curious to see how the coffee grounds will look different um, from our cacao powder, our chocolate powder. Let's see. Ooh, kind of has the little coffee grounds in it that creates a really pretty texture. That's cool. Now I'm just doing a heart with outlines, as you can see, but I feel like you could actually paint something with this. These are all very earthy, natural colors. So I think if you painted like an outside scene, like a house in a desert is what I'm thinking of. I really like the way that looks. Okay, so now another um, seasoning that I have is the cayenne. Now I'm thinking of actually adding that into the curry powder, seeing if we can create a new color. See how that works. I think that's pretty cool. You could probably do the cayenne on its own as well, but I think it could create a cool color with that. So I'm just playing around with it. Added a little bit more water. 
Now let's paint that. Yeah, it's this nice earthy kind of orange color. Looks like a little bit fiery. I like that a lot. It just looks like, yeah, really nice, natural, earthy colors. Um, I think this is actually really pretty. I'm actually really happy with how it's turning out. I can't believe that this is from food. Another thing I thought of was the ketchup. When I looked into my, um, into my refrigerator, and um, I feel like you don't really need to add any much water with the ketchup since it's already pretty liquidy. I'm gonna go right in. Oh, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. It's not quite as pigmented and dark as I thought it would be. It's actually quite see-through with just a tiny bit, very light red color. But I'm sure any um, spice that you have in your kitchen that has some sort of color to it, um, will work when it comes to um, painting with things inside your house. I've also seen people um, paint using actually dirt and it turns out um, kind of like our coffee grounds, which I think is super cool. So like I said, you don't have to use um, the items that I did. You can really use anything in your house to create your um, art piece. I just think that this is really cool. It's kind of something that people did way 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 long ago when there wasn't um paints for them to buy they had to gather natural materials that they found in nature and crush it up and turn it into their own paints or pigments to do things like cave art and um yeah i just think it's really cool that we can do that in our own home especially because i know a lot of you do not have paints at your house so I really look forward to seeing what you guys come up with and telling me what different spices and household items that you found and used to create um, your art piece. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.